Find a comfortable seated position, letting the spine be nice and long. Close the eyes. Take a few deep breaths. Take a deep inhale in through the nose for three, two, one. Slow exhale out the nose. Three, two, one. Deep inhale in. Get the spine a little bit longer. Whatever's going on in the mind and the body, open the mouth, let it out. Take a deep inhale in, noticing any of the distractions, any of the thoughts, any of the sounds around you. Inhale it all in. Open the mouth, let it out. Exhale, plant in your hands, and head all the way back to downward facing dog. Hands shoulder distance apart, feet hip distance apart. Really sink the belly, put a little bend in the knees, get the sits bones a little higher, and then inhale coming forward to plank. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhale coming up to the balls of the feet, turn the gaze forward, walk to the front of the mat. Exhale down, forward fold, little bend in the knees, length through the crown of the head. Inhale halfway up, hands to shins. And exhale, release a little deeper pull against the backs of the legs, keeping that little bend in the knees. Inhale, rolling up one vertebra at a time. Reach the arms out and up. And we're going to head right back down. Exhale, lead with heart all the way down to the toes. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, plant the hands, stepping back to plank. Take an inhale in. Exhale down, chaturanga. Inhale through and up. Keep a that activity through the tops of the feet. Keep the core engaged. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhale, coming up to the balls of the feet. Turn the gaze forward. Walk to the front of the mat. Exhale down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, release a little bit deeper. Little bend in the knees. Inhale, rolling up one vertebra at a time. Reach the arms out and up. Exhale this time down to heart center. Find that focal point right in front of you. Start to transfer the weight toward the right foot. Lift those left toes. Find your drishti, that focal point. And maybe that foot up toward that calf, maybe the inside of that thigh. Or even pulling in for a half lotus. Same deep breaths. And these balancing postures are a great way for us to ground down. It's sort of the idea of the opposition, the idea of if there's a lot going on up here in the mind, can I just send it down into the earth, into my feet, waking up the hamstrings and the hips, be sure that right hip's pulling forward, left knee's opening out, and place that foot down, start to head over to the other side, find the focal point, find your breath, and notice if there's a part of you that's pushing yourself through and pulling that foot all the way up and reaching the arms up and just give yourself some space. Change that comes quickly also leads quickly. So be patient with yourself. Let the skin shed. Let the body change. Let the nervous system change. It doesn't happen overnight. Place that foot down. Inhale, reach the arms out and up. Exhale, lead with the heart. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, plant the hands. This time, step. Actually, heel toe the feet out to the edges of your mat. We're going to put a nice deep bend in our knees this time. Really release the head down, release the torso. Feel that little bounce in the hips. See if you can get your chest to come down in between your knees and then interlace your hands behind your back. And try and get your pinkies a little closer to the earth. And we're going to inhale, straighten the legs. Try and get those pinkies a little closer. Exhale, bend the knees, keep reaching those pinkies down, open up the shoulders, inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend, lengthen through the crown of the head, inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend, inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend, plant the hands, stepping back to plank. Take an inhale in, exhale down, chaturanga. Inhale, use those low back muscles, roll the shoulders back, lengthen through the crown of the head. Exhale, back, downward facing dog. Inhale that right heel up, sink the heart toward the left toes. Don't stack that right hip, but keep it pulling down. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale that heel up and back. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale that heel up. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale that heel up. 
Exhale, knee to nose, softly place the right foot down near the right hand. So you're going to line up that second toe with the ankle, knee, and hip on each side. Take the right foot a little farther to the right if you're feeling like you can't find that firm foundation. Pull the feet in toward each other. Put a little bend in that back knee. Bring the hands to your hips and find your way up. So we're going to spend a little time here in this lunge. And the reason we're doing this is so that all of these muscles in our hips can start to activate properly. Now the tendency here is as we get tired, is we're going to try to open that left hip out. That takes some of the work out of the hip and it starts to dump it into these other muscles. So keep pulling that left hip forward, right hip back. Notice if your hamstrings are on, on that right side. We really want those hamstrings working. You should feel that in that left hip flexor. And this is that muscle that lets you lift your leg up. Keep the core engaged. Don't spill the belly out. Keep it engaged. Relax the shoulders. Deep breaths. Now we're going to straighten that back leg, place your chest down on your thigh, reach the fingertips out, keep that right hip pulling in, and then place the left fingers down, reach the right fingers up. Now notice here if that right knee tries to fall out to the right side, pull it back in, lengthen through the crown of the head, same deep breaths, keeping the arms as they are, inhale, coming up, reach that left hand forward, right hand back, I know it feels weird, you can bring the hands to heart center. And come into a twist, or if that's a little too much, and keep that left hand down on the earth. Same deep breaths. One more inhale in. And then exhale, unwind, place the hands down, send that right foot back to meet the left, bring them together. And we're going to inhale, roll onto the outside of the right foot, left fingers up. If that's a little too much, you can place that right knee down. And then exhale, we're going to come through center. You can either stay in plank or all the way to Chaturanga. Inhale, roll onto the outside of the left foot, right fingers up. Again, place that knee down if you need to. Exhale, either staying in plank or all the way down, Chaturanga. Inhale to the right side. Exhale through center. Inhale to the left side. Exhale through center. One more round. Move with your breath. Get those hips a little higher, and then we're going to head all the way down. Find your little back bend. And then head back. Downward facing dog. Inhale that left heel up. Exhale knee to nose. Inhale that heel up. Exhale left knee, right elbow. Inhale that heel up. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, that heel up. Exhale, knee to nose. Softly place the left foot down near the left hand. Find that same firm foundation. Bring your hands to your hips. Come up. We're really waking up the hips here. Start to feel that warmth. We generate a lot of warmth from our hips. Feel that foundation. Now, if you're here... Maybe you're pushing yourself really hard. You're breathing really hard. and Just notice what's happening in your hips. Notice if you're pushing yourself to that point of, I have to change, and I have to change right now, and to rip the skin off and be different. Just give yourself a little space. Breathe a little deeper. Maybe straightening the legs out a little bit. Feeling what's happening in your hips. If you start to cramp, breathe through it. Maybe back off just a little bit. Find where that cramp is happening. Feel yourself. Feel your foundation. Feel your nervous system. Be your own best friend. Don't constantly be fighting with yourself. And breathe. Slowly chest to thigh. Reach the fingertips out. And here we want to keep that low back long and reaching and working. And then right fingertips down. Left fingertips up. Deep breaths. Notice if that knee falls out, pull. Pull it back in. Keep that alignment. Keeping the arms as they are. Inhale coming up. Hands to heart center. Find that twist. Whichever variation. 
deep breaths. Notice the thoughts. Notice your breath. One more inhale in. Exhale, plant the hands. Send that left foot back to meet the right. Take an inhale in. Exhale all the way down to the earth. This time we're going to interlace the hands behind our back. Lift the wrists above the sits bones. Lift the heels. Lift the heart. Long inhales. Long exhales. And then gently press ourselves back. Downward facing dog. Inhale that right heel up. Bring it all the way forward. Place it down in between the hands. Place that back heel down. Find our way up. Warrior two. So in that same way that we were in the lunge, feel that foundation. Feel the deep breaths. Left hip opening back. Left thigh pulling forward. Pull that right heel back. Engage the hamstrings. Relax the shoulders and breathe. Right elbow, right thigh. Left arm reaches. We're going to inhale back, peaceful warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Move with your breath. Do this a few times. Then leave it up to you how many. When you feel ready, spend a little time in extended side angle. Keep that right hip pulling under, right heel pulling back. Maybe placing the right fingertips down or bind if it's in your practice. Breathe. Slowly come up, warrior two. Inhale, straighten that right leg, reach with the right fingers. And down, trikonasana. Keep that right hip pulling under. Keep the feet pulling in toward each other. Keep pressing down with that right big toe. Really trying to open up these medial hamstrings. Open and strengthen at the same time. Breathe. Bring that left hand to your hip. And we're going to heel toe that left foot about a foot closer. So that we can turn our toes toward the front of the mat. And take the right foot a little farther to the right side. If you're having any trouble with balance. We're going to turn the hips so that they're parallel to the front of the mat. And start to open up the lateral side of that right hamstring. So the outside of the right, ham of the right leg. We have one hamstring on the outside, two on the inside. Try and bring the torso parallel to the earth. You can put your hand on your thigh or on your shin, just not on your knee. Now you can stay right here. You can take the left hand, place it on that right shin, down towards your ankle, and start to drop the left hip, open the right, maybe reaching those right fingertips up. Or you can place the left fingertips on the ground, or even bring that right hand to your hip. You want to really feel that all along the outside of that right leg. This is our lateral side of our leg. Usually we don't spend a lot of time out here. Most of my clients that I work with, they have a really weak lateral hamstring that then pulls in on their glute meat and their SI joint, creates a lot of low back pain. So breathe into that, open it up, strengthen it. If you need to, you can put a little bend in that knee. You want to feel like the weight is on the outside of that right foot. Pazarita Trikonasana. One more inhale in. Exhale, plant the hands, stepping that right foot back. Take an inhale in. We're going to exhale down to our forearms, forearm plank. Interlace the fingers except for the pinky and ring. Pull the elbows toward each other and back towards your big toes. Deep breaths. Use that core. Feel like you're trying to crinkle up your whole mat. Pull your elbows so much toward those big toes. Your body starts to shake and quiver. Be sure none of the work is happening in your low back, but it's all happening in your core. Long inhales, long exhales. When you just can't do it anymore, place the hands down. Roll the shoulders back. Untuck the toes. Nice sphinx. Breathe.
hands under your shoulders. Tuck the toes, keep the core engaged, elbows in. Inhale up for plank. Exhale back, downward dog. Inhale that left heel up. Exhale, bring it forward and through. Warrior two on the other side. Find that focal point, find your breath, notice your thoughts. And notice if you're pushing yourself like crazy. Or maybe you're not pushing yourself enough. There's always a balance. There's a balance in all of these things. Maybe we need to bend a little bit deeper. Maybe we need to pull the feet in a little more, open the hips a little more. But always connecting it to our breath. Noticing if we're trying to rip the skin off or if we're allowing space for change. Left elbow, left thigh, right arm reaches. Keep that right shoulder pulling back. Open the heart. Inhale back. Peaceful warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Try and keep the hips right where they are as you move. Keep your foundation. Let the flow happen up top. Move with your breath, inhaling back, exhaling forward. We're looking at what's happening in our body, what's happening in our nervous system. We're trying to find the patterns. We all have habits. So much of what we do physically and mentally is habitual. So this work of yoga is for us to go in and find out what those habits are. What's the first thing to give out right here? What's my tendency? What, what is it that I want to try to do? Does my hip want to open? Do I want to really grip with my toes? Do I want to just release into it and just sink into my ligaments? What are, what are my personal tendencies? Find your way up, warrior two. Straighten that left leg. Let that hip pull in, reach out, triangle pose. Am I still pulling my feet in toward each other? What are my habits? Does my shoulder tense up? Does my neck tense up? Does that left hip really drop out to the side and the right hip pull forward? Bring that right hand to your hip. Heel toe the right foot about a foot closer. So you can turn toward the front of the mat. Turn the hips. Take the left foot a little farther to the left side if you need to. Feel the torso parallel to the earth. Feel that left hip pulling back, right hip forward. And we start to feel that on the outside of that left leg. You can bring the hands to your leg. Maybe starting to open up. That's a little too much. So right fingertips down, left fingertips up. Really starting to feel, how do I open up all of this along the outside of that leg? How do I find that? It's going to be a little bit different for everybody. This is an exploration. Once you have your alignment in yoga, the important thing is then to find what works for you. Find what works for your body. Some of my clients find more when they bend their knee a little bit. Some of my clients find more when they straighten and they open that hip out to the side. Some it's pulling that hip back. Just find where your habits are. Find where your nervous system is today. Maybe it'll be different tomorrow. Maybe it was different yesterday. Find those deep breaths. And then plant the hands. Stepping that left foot back. Take an inhale in. Exhale down, chaturanga. Inhale through and up. Exhale back, downward facing dog. And bring that right foot all the way forward. Place the back knee down. Untuck the toes. Make sure that right hip is still lined up with those right toes. Take an inhale in. Exhale, back, straighten that right leg, flex the toes. <sighs> Inhale, coming forward. Exhale, heading back, notice any of the spots where the hips are trying to avoid and see if you can breathe through them. Inhale, forward one more time. 
And this time as you exhale, heel toe the right foot over to the left side of the mat, place that knee down, find your way out for a pigeon prep if that's a little bit too much, bring that left knee up to the sole of that right foot. Deep breaths. Feeling into that right hip. And then keep that right leg active. We so often want to sink into the luxuries of stretching. But if we just continually stretch all the time, we start to wear out the muscles and the ligaments. But when we can keep that activity, keep that foot pressing down, keep that leg active, then we're able to develop flexibility and strength at the same time. And with strength, we have stability. With flexibility, we have mobility. We want both. Feel what's happening in that hip. Notice what's happening in your thumb. And then tuck those left toes, slowly coming up to your hands, and that right foot back and up. Release that hip, place the right foot back down, bring that left foot forward. Be sure it's lined up with the hip on each side, place the back knee down, inhale in. Exhale, back flex the left toes. Inhale, rolling forward. Exhale, heading back, trying to keep the hips aligned with the front of the mat, feeling that activity all the way through the legs. Notice if that lateral hamstring again is working the outside of that leg. So often it doesn't want to be involved. And then heel toe that left foot over to the right side of the mat. Find your way out. Take a few deep breaths. Notice what's happening in your thoughts. Notice your focus. Feel into that hip. Feel the activity. Feel the release. And breathe. It's always interesting to me at the beginning of the year, I'll so often have so many more students in class and we set these goals when we want change. But so often we're trying to eat the whole elephant at the same time. We're going, I'm going to do yoga four hours a day, every day. But instead I really try to encourage my clients to, and my students, to find the little things that you're really going to apply. Maybe that just means setting an alarm on your phone every day at one o'clock to take a breath. Start small. Let it happen. Allow the change. Don't try to rip the skin. Let it shed. Tuck the right toes and that left foot back. Release that hip. And we're going to find our way down to our back. If you don't want to invert today, you can bring the soles of your feet together. Right hand to your heart, left hand to your diaphragm. Otherwise, bring your knees up into your chest and your toes up over your head. Find your way to a nice easy plow. Maybe bring the hands high up on your back. And find your way up for shoulder stand. If shoulder stand is not in your practice and you don't want to spend time in Sutta Baddha Konasana, we can do a little more core work here. Flex your toes, send your heels up, press down with the core, press that low back down, relax the shoulders, and see if you can get your heels a little bit closer to the ceiling. Same deep breaths. If you've come up for shoulder stand, Find your way slowly back through plow, rolling down one vertebra at a time, and then everyone place your heels down, hip distance apart, so you can touch your heels with your fingertips, and press the heels, lift the hips, coming in for a nice bridge, 
Same deep breath. We're only going to come up once. So if you have an Urdhva Dhanurasana practice, hands under your shoulders. And press yourself up. Deep breaths. Slowly find your way down. Bring that right knee up into your chest. Straighten that left leg out. Right arm out to the side. Pull that right knee over the body. And just start to feel the heart rate slow down. And then let's change the focus of the breath. I want you to just start to watch your breath. This is often very challenging. It's very hard to watch our breath and not control it at all. Let's see if you can just notice the easy inhales and exhales. And just stay focused on that. Stay focused on allowing the breath. Straighten that right leg out as you come back through center. Pull that left knee in. Pull it over the body with the right hand. And find a little curiosity about it. What is my breath doing right now? Can I just watch it? Can I just allow it? You know, I so often think that I have to be nearly killing myself to bring about any type of change. See if right now you can just Create the space. And slowly coming back through center. Extending both legs out. Palms up. Tuck the shoulder blades. Closing the eyes. Finding that final Shavasana. And give yourself a little time. Feel your weight getting heavier. Feel every part of you down on the earth. Continue to just watch the breath. Nothing you need to change right now. Nothing you need to do. Just allowing. Just to be.
Take a nice breath in. Easy breath out. Listening to that breath, decide if you would like to stay right here. Just round out your practice or start to activate through the fingers and toes. Pull on to one side or the other and find your way back to that easy seated position. Just notice if the nervous system is a little calmer. If the breath is coming a little easier. If the thoughts seem just a little bit further apart. And maybe change seems a little less forceful, a little less like ripping the skin off and a little more like letting it shed. Mm 